What's up my friends, welcome back. So here we are today with another review and today I have for you a drone and this is a low cost drone that has both GPS and a camera so you could record your videos. So we will do a proper unbox, this is all that you receive in the box. Then we will test it, I will go outside and make a flight test, give my final opinion. So let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. This is the Bayang Toys X22 drone and the first thing we do it's a proper unbox. We receive this drone in a cardboard box and inside we have the common white protective foam. Inside we have the radio controller and propellers on one side. We have 8 propellers in case we break one of them. Then we have the drone itself with some foam over the motors for protection. Then we have the legs of the drone and the camera support together with the Wi-Fi camera. Then we have the battery charger and the adapter, the smart force stand for the controller, the battery and some screws and tools and also a small manual. And that's it, this is all that we have inside of the box. First thing I will do is to mount the legs of the drone. Place the leg on the bottom part of the drone and tie 2 screws for each side, so a total of 8 screws. Now that we have the legs, we fix in place the camera support. It has a sliding hook mechanism, so it is very easy to fix in place. Then connect the USB cable to the camera and the plug to the drone and the drone is ready. One comment about this. This drone was sent me by Banggood for free to test it. I wanted the model with the gimbal, but they sent me the one with the steady support for the camera like this one. So make sure when you order the drone to ask for the gimbal model. Otherwise you won't be able to find the gimbal by itself on the market yet. Ok guys, so now for the radio controller, we need 6 1.5V batteries, then we could power it on. Insert the LiPo battery into the drone and plug the connectors. Close the battery door and using the on and off switch, power on the drone. Now power on the controller and put throttle to minimum for around 4 seconds, till the LEDs of the drone will change the blinking speed. Right at this moment release the throttle and you will hear a beep. So now we are connected to the drone, so let's get outside for the first test. First thing first, we install the propellers. So remove the protective foam. Each arm has an arrow that shows you the direction of the rotation for the propellers, so make sure you put the correct propeller for each arm. Tie the propeller using this tool included in the box. Power on the drone and power on the controller and make the radio connection as before. Now put throttle and yaw to minimum, pitch and roll to maximum and enter the calibration mode and the LEDs are blinking fast. Now you should create some sort of 8 shape in the air with the drone and then the LEDs should turn from blinking to always turn on. So now the drone is calibrated. To start the drone you have to put throttle roll pitch to minimum and yaw to maximum for 3 seconds. Now just put the throttle up and it will go into the air. The drone is quite steady, but I have to say that this is the first drone of this kind that I have. By this kind I refer to the GPS and camera type of drone that could hover in the same spot, so I can't really compare it with other drones. Anyway, it has a return to home mode and it performed very well with an error of maybe half a meter. At around 500 meters, I've lost the signal, but it returned back to home and during the automatic back to home, I've gained the signal back so I could control the drone once again. I've used it for around 18 minutes and then I had the low battery alarm at around 20% battery, so I had to land the drone. Now the camera quality is awful, even it is labeled as an HD camera. It is one of the worst cameras I've seen. But it has Wi-Fi so you could use it as an FPV. As an FPV camera works very well. Install the app, connect to the Wi-Fi of the camera and see in real time what the drone will see. If you have the gimbal version you could even move the gimbal using the smartphone or the radio controller. In order to get good video, I've used my SJ camera instead of the FPV camera and here is an example on how the drone flies. Using the gimbal this will be much more stabilized. So ok guys, as the first use of this drone, I like how it flies. 
but there is something I want to comment. First, the camera. It is very low quality, so if you want both FPV and good quality video at the same time, well, you can do that, only if you manage to install both cameras at the same time. Then we have this GPS module here, but this is just a plastic part that makes the drone look better. The GPS sensor is inside of the case below this copper protective layer, so this is used just to simulate how GPS sensors are placed, and I don't like that. I've opened the drone and we can see some custom made ESCs for each motor and the main board in place. Also with a bunch of sensors, such as magnetometer, gyro, accelerometer and GPS. These are some copper protective layers to prevent noise for the sensors. The brushless motor have no brand. I had no problems with the GPS and the position of the drone was always ok. The drone has some good speed on the vertical axis, but moving left to right or forward, you get like 1 or 2 meters per second. I would really like to have the gimbal version so I could show you some steady video, but for no gimbal version this records pretty decent, using a different camera of course. The frame is made out of plastic but it is quite durable and in my opinion looks pretty good with black color and some red strips. On the radio controller you can get the altitude, the speed, the orientation, the battery value of both controller and the drone, number of satellites or you could start recording or take pictures. Pressing this button for 3 seconds it will automatically land the drone and pressing this button here will get the drone to the home position. Using the app you could draw the route that you want the drone to make or put the drone into follow mode. Now the manual is in English but with a lot of errors, so read it slowly. I do like the drone but I am very disappointed by the camera quality since I wanted this drone for this purpose, to see how it records, video quality and stabilization. But aside that, the drone flies very good. You might want to buy several batteries since this one will only give you around 80 minutes of flight time. The charging process takes around 2 and a half hours, using the charger that they give you. So that's it guys, we have made an unbox, tear down the drone in order to see its internal connections and also test the drone outside. So final opinion, well I like how it flies, but I don't like the camera. So if you want good video you will also have to buy a separated camera and that would increase the price. It is fun and very easy to fly, very steady and also quite powerful. There is a full how to use video about this drone, so I will put the link of that video below together with some links for this drone with the gimbal as well. So I hope that you enjoyed this review of the Bang Toys X22 drone. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell in order to see my future videos. Also click the like button like crazy and share this video with your friends. And remember, if you consider helping my projects check my Patreon page as well. Thanks again and see you later guys.